2022 was a year of building for the Wisconsin Department of Transportation. Building communities, building partnerships, building innovative solutions, and building the future. The Bipartisan Infrastructure Law is a once-in-a-generation opportunity to build on this administration's commitment to fix Wisconsin roads and move our transportation system forward. We are working with local governments throughout the state to invest about $289 million this year to improve local roads and bridges, state highways, and bike and pedestrian facilities. In 2022, WSDOT continued to make significant investments in our transportation infrastructure with construction on state and local roadways and bridges. Since 2019, WSDOT improved more than 4,600 miles of highways and roads, including more than 1,700 miles of locally owned roads, as well as improving nearly 1,500 bridges across the state. 2022 was really a year of opportunities and challenges. Uh, but I'm super proud of the fact that the WSDOT team rose to those challenges and really worked together with our local government partners and others to really accelerate the pace of delivering transportation projects in Wisconsin. Wisconsin's economic health and quality of life relies on building a robust multimodal transportation system. In 2022, the state made significant investments in all modes of transportation. That included $9.4 million in our harbors, which opened Wisconsin for global trade along two international waterways. Our freight rail lines benefited from $15 million in grants and loans to raise carrying capacity and increase resilience. In Janesville, that means improving five bridges to raise capacity to 286,000 pounds. $5 million went to rural transit services that provide mobility to those with disabilities and the elderly and transportation economic assistance grants of $1.3 million went to rail projects that helped create jobs in Wrightstown and Pleasant Prairie. It's not just physical roads and structures we're building here at Wistant. We're building so much more. The partnerships we're building help us move transportation forward through safety, education, and successful projects. State patrol officers across Wisconsin spent 2022 focusing on safety enforcement in key areas to address specific challenges that lead to crashes and injuries on our highways. This includes strategic partnerships with local, state, and federal law enforcement organizations to improve safety. We're really counting on drivers out there to, to slow down, pay attention, and move over if they can, and really make sure that they keep us safe while we're keeping them safe. But when I drive in this lane, I control my drive, I don't speed or make sudden movements. We are teaming up with the Milwaukee Bucks and star forward Bobby Portis on our new Control Your Drive campaign. Our goal is to help end reckless driving in Wisconsin communities. All of us know Bobby Portis. We know Bobby Portis for his talent, we know him for his energy, we know him for his drive. He's a perfect person to ask everyone to control their drive. Our safety partnerships are helping our state's first responders understand the rapidly advancing connected and automated vehicle technology. We develop training to guide law enforcement, fire, and towing companies on how to manage interactions with this technology. The training is one of the first of its kind in the country. Wistot and community partners celebrated the long-awaited completion of the Highway 23 corridor in Fond du Lac and Sheboygan counties. This much-needed improvement project was delayed for years. Thanks to collaboration across communities, businesses, and all levels of government, the Highway 23 corridor is now safer and more efficient for residents, businesses, and travelers in Northeast Wisconsin. Everyone pulled together and supported this. I can't think of a project that had more overwhelming support than expanding Highway 23. Our partnerships with tribal nations across the state continued this year as our dual language sign program added three more tribes. The Oneida Nation, the Menominee Indian Tribe of Wisconsin, and the Sokogan Chippewa Community now have highway signs in English and their native language to signify tribal boundaries along state highways. And it's kind of a win-win situation for me for the state, the county, and the tribe. Wisconsin DMV's partnership efforts are educating drivers to help create safer roads. 
The online knowledge and road signs practice test launched this year. It offers parents, teens, commercial truck drivers, and instructors a new tool to learn the rules of the road and prepare for driver license tests. Innovation is at the forefront of everything we do. From improving safety, to providing transportation solutions, to expanding online services, 2022 was a year of innovation. We made significant upgrades to the 511 Wisconsin website. In January, new technology replaced an outdated system for winter road conditions reporting. 511 now provides more frequent road condition updates and triples the coverage of roadway miles reported. In June, we added live video feeds to our network of more than 400 traffic cameras across the state. We continue to work with county highway departments on winter maintenance best practices and liquid de-icing strategies. Those innovative and collaborative efforts saved the state 236 million pounds of salt last winter, worth more than $10 million. Wisconsin's first flex lane opened on Madison's Beltline in July. The flex lane is an innovative solution to ease backups and improve traffic flow on one of Wisconsin's busiest highways. The inside median shoulders were improved to create an additional lane for traffic during peak travel times. During the first few months of operation, our data shows travel times were improved by about 30%. The flex lane is one solution to improve transportation in the Madison area. We were able to uh, increase capacity, improve drive times without increasing our footprint really at all. And you know, when we can do that, uh, whether it's through something like the flex lane, which is first of its kind uh, in the state, is a win for everybody. And the flex lane is just a, a tremendous example of that. Innovation is making it easier to skip the trip to a DMV location by providing more services online. Getting a title, replacing a lost driver license, and many other tasks are easy and more convenient than ever. For example, more than 2.3 million Wisconsinites renewed their plates online this year. WisDOT's transportation data is available in more ways to more people through our innovative Geographic Information Systems, or GIS, data mapping. Our new non-driver population tool enables users to compare non-driver data with public transportation resources to identify where more mobility options are needed. With the success of 2022 now in the rear view, we look forward to what we can accomplish in 2023 and beyond as this administration continues to build the future of transportation in Wisconsin. Electric vehicle technology is an important part of the future, but it's also already here. The Wisconsin Electric Vehicle Infrastructure Plan is the state's roadmap to use nearly $78.5 million in federal funding over five years to support electric vehicle charging stations and infrastructure improvements across the state. Planning is crucial to building Wisconsin's transportation future. In 2022, we completed an update of Wisconsin's long-range transportation plan, Connect 2050. We also made significant progress to update several other planning initiatives, like the Wisconsin Rail Plan and the Wisconsin State Freight Plan. Engineers, IT professionals, DMV agents, sworn law enforcement officers, and many other important roles for our agency. Recruiting the next generation of WISDOT staff is integral to meeting today's transportation needs, solving tomorrow's challenges, and building the future of Wisconsin. 2022 was really a year of unparalleled success here at WISDOT in Wisconsin. You know, we're just getting started. Working together with our local government partners and building upon the things that we've achieved in 2022, I can't be more excited for what lies ahead in 2023 to really deliver the transportation system that the people of Wisconsin deserve.